friends welcome in our own teacher channel class 10th science part 1 workshop of lesson number 6 refraction of light before starting the workshop subscribe my channel and to get notification touch the bell icon question 1 fill in the blanks and explain the completed sentences refractive index depends on the velocity of light the value of refractive index is different for different media and it depends on the velocity of the light in the medium the change in direction of light rays while going from one medium to another is called refraction light changes its direction when passing from one transparent medium to another transparent medium this is called the refraction of light Question 2 Prove the following statements A If the angle of incidence and angle of emergence of a light ray falling on a glass slab are I and E respectively prove that I equal to E In this figure the first refraction takes place at point n on side pq when the ray of light enters from air medium to glass medium the second refraction takes place at m on side sr when the ray of light enters from glass medium to air medium in the above figure i angle of incidence r angle of refraction e angle of emergence at point n using snell's law now refractive index of glass with respect to air means sin i upon sin r this is our first equation at point m using snell's law Re- refractive index of air with respect to glass equal to sin r upon sin e this is our equation 2 but refractive index of glass with respect to air is equal to 1 upon refractive index of air with respect to glass so sin i upon sin r is equal to 1 upon sin r upon sin e from first and second equation so sin i upon sin r equal to sin e upon sin r that means sin i and sin e both are equal angle i and angle e both are equal b a rainbow is combined effect of the refraction dispersion and total internal reflection of light the rainbow appears in the sky after a rainfall water droplets present in the atmosphere acts as small prism when sunlight enters the water droplet it get refracted and dispersed this dispersed light get totally reflected inside the droplet and again is refracted while coming out of the droplet as a combined effect of all these phenomena the seven colored rainbow is observed Question 3 Mark the correct answer in the following questions 
A. What is the reason for the twinkling of stars? 1. Explosions occurring in stars from time to time. 2. Absorption of light in the Earth's atmosphere. 3. Motion of stars. 4. Changing refractive index of the atmospheric gases. The correct answer is 4. Changing refractive index of the atmospheric gases. B. We can see the sun even when it is little below the horizon because of 1. Reflection of light 2. Refraction of light 3. Dispersion of light and 4. Absorption of light The correct answer is 2. Refraction of light C. If the refractive index of glass with respect to air is 3 by 2, what is the refractive index of air with respect to glass? 1. 1 by 2, 2, 3, 3, 1 by 3 and 4 is 2 by 3. The correct answer number 4, 2 by 3. 3. Question 4. Solve the following examples. A. If the speed of light in a medium is 1.5 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second, what is the absolute refractive index of the medium? Given speed of light in medium V2 is equal to 1.5 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second and we have to find out here absolute refractive index n so our formula is n is equal to v1 upon v2 so velocity of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 so we will keep here 3 into 10 raised to power 8 upon V2 is 1.5 into 10 raised to power 8. After dividation, we get answer 2. So, the absolute refractive index of the medium is 2. B. If the absolute refractive indices of glass and water are 3 by 2 and 4 by 3 respectively what is the refractive index of glass with respect to water if v1 is the velocity of light in vacuum v2 is the velocity of light in glass v3 is the velocity of light in water so refractive index of glass with respect to vacuum is v1 upon v2 means 3 upon 2 this is our first equation refractive index of water with respect to vacuum v1 upon v3 is 4 upon 3 this is our equation number 2 so refractive index of glass with respect to, to water v3 upon v2 we get this by v1 upon v2 into v3 upon v1 so we will cut this v1 means by dividation so we will get v3 upon v2 now we know v1 upon v2 means 3 by 2 and v3 upon v1 means 3 by 4 so, 3 threes are 9 and 4 twos are 8. The refractive index of glass with respect to water is 9 upon 8. What is 
mint by absolute refractive index the refractive index of a medium with respect to vacuum is called its absolute refractive index what is meant by reflection of light when rays of light fall on any opaque surface they turn back this is called as reflection of light so friends thanks